Hello and welcome to part 25 of the UPIK solution. In this video, I uh, wanted to address something uh, regarding the risks, as I mentioned in the last video. Um, actually, mm, it's it is um, taking the or it is uh, using the implementation in uh, in VR, but it's not uh, doing so in Simulate, and that is actually just what I wanted to uh, address here. So you can see when I hit Simulate, uh, the wrist uh, or the the effects at joint is kind of very close to the the wrist itself. If I hit play on uh, VR preview and compare that um, with the location, you can see the uh, the red uh, square. It's very much closer to uh, where the hand or the palm of the character is. So this is generally already working as I wanted to. The, the problem with the, the length, you can see it's, it, this is where the controller is. Uh, I'm pointing with uh, the, the character or the mannequin finger, uh, pointy finger. Um, you can see this point here is not able to reach the, the wrist. So all this part here is actually um, a kind of a, um, a gap that is not possible to close uh, with this uh, character here. I believe we can uh, tweak the shoulders a little bit to to make it better, but generally it, it's it, it, I would say it's up to you to figure out uh, how you would do this. Um, um, I personally haven't decided yet. Anyway, so what uh, the I wanted to address here is this uh, situation in the um, simulate mode. Uh, and I actually discovered or uh, realized that th this is actually only an issue um, inside the, the, the character, uh, the VR character here, while we um, oops, get in, set the transforms. And you may notice that I set the uh, debug left hand and uh, set it, um, the actual transform. But if we uh, click on this actor here, we can see that the scale of this is actually 0 0.1 and that is what is causing this to actually not move at all. Um, so if we disconnect this, uh, split this open and split this open and just feed in the location and trend, uh, rotation. So in other words, we just leave the scale to one, then we're going to see uh, quite a bit of a big difference. Yeah. So let's just do this for the bottom here as well. Also. So you could say this was actually a thing I missed when I did this uh, or a bug. So I just wanted to address this here. Uh, connect location and rotation up. So now you can see it looks very much more like how we look see uh, see it in uh, in VR. Um, it is sort of the the palm of your character that now uh, does the movement. So when you rotate this, this as you can see rotate the um, the um, the wrist joint. If I keep my hand still like this. And that is actually what I want out of this because the hand or the palm is what you're going to be aiming with. So you can see now the 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 wrist is rotating according to to this rotation. So it, it mimics this movement here, and you're still going to be leading with the palm. This is what you're going to be leading with. Um, Let's see, did I want to say more on in this video? Um, I think actually not. Um, let's see, uh, the UBIK component does have this debug true on at the, at the moment. So if I just turn this off uh, and hit play, you can see this is what it, the, the raw result is gonna be. And if we play this in VR, This is how it's going to look. Oh, 
don't know why it's jumping. Okay, never mind. So I would say this uh, this is basically what I'm gonna leave you guys with for now. I uh, hope you can use this and improve it on yourself, on your own. And um, yeah, I hope to to see some games out there which makes use of this system, or um, uh, you can uh, or that will be basing a game on this system here. And uh, I would also like to give out a shout out to uh, Matthias Parcher, which was uh, the guy that I based this work on, uh, and mentioned as mentioned in the first video. Um, it was his uh, thesis project that I uh, I got all a lot of this inspiration from. So uh, make sure you also, if you use this uh, system here, make sure to credit him also for this really awesome uh, approach here. Um, and uh, feel free to, to link or send me a, a, um, um, a link if you decide to do a game uh, using this uh, IK system. I would very much like to see what you come up with and how you um, uh, how it looks. And uh, also, you know, if you make some um, uh, important uh, improvements to the system, feel free to also uh, send them or make a pull request uh, on the, the Bitbucket. Uh, just for reference, I'm going to add uh, the link to the Bitbucket um, repository in this video also, because I realized that some people missed uh, that fact in, in some of the, or I think I mentioned it in the first video. So yeah, um, that is what I'm going to leave you guys with. I have no idea, by the way, why I'm so small all of a sudden. Hmm, that's funny. Anyway, uh, wait a second. Okay, funny. Okay, that's what I have for this time, guys. I hope you enjoyed, and um, I will be seeing you. Um, do leave a comment uh, on the video if you have some concerns or uh, just questions of any kind. Uh, I will see what I can do to answer your questions. Uh, anyway, bye for now, and take care.